he became a Dominican friar and taught at a local convent in Freiburg. He was greatly inspired by Albert the Great and showed a marked tendency towards Albert's universality of interests. His name is Theodoric of Freiburg. In the quaint town of Freiburg, nestled in the heart of medieval Europe, a young man named Theodoric embarked on a profound journey of knowledge and spirituality. Born into a devout family, Theodoric's path was set from an early age, as he became a Dominican friar, dedicating his life to the pursuit of wisdom and understanding. Under the tutelage of the local convent, Theodoric delved deep into the teachings of philosophy, immersing himself in the vast ocean of knowledge that surrounded him. It was during this time that he discovered the teachings of the renowned philosopher Albert the Great, a figure whose influence would shape Theodoric's intellectual pursuits. Although it remains uncertain whether Theodoric directly studied under Albert, his profound admiration for the philosopher was evident. Theodoric's thirst for knowledge was unparalleled, as he exhibited a remarkable breadth of interests and a profound universality of thought, mirroring the very essence of Albert's teachings. As Theodoric's reputation grew, he was bestowed with the prestigious title of Magister, a testament to his advanced level of university training. His intellectual prowess and deep understanding of various philosophical concepts made him a revered figure among his peers and students alike. Theodoric's story is a testament to the power of intellectual curiosity and the transformative nature of education. His unwavering dedication to the pursuit of knowledge paved the way for his remarkable contributions to philosophy, leaving an indelible mark on the medieval world and inspiring countless generations to come. Theodoric, a renowned philosopher from Freiburg, embarked on a transformative journey to Paris in the year 1272. Eager to expand his knowledge, he sought to study under the guidance of esteemed intellectuals in the vibrant city. Although the details of his time in Paris remain elusive, a book titled Treatise on the Intellect and the Intelligible, translated by M. L. Fuhrer, shed some light on this period. In the second part of his treatise, Theodoric references a solemn master he encountered during his studies in Paris. Some speculate that this master may have been Henry of Ghent, known as Dr. Solemnus, by his students. However, it is uncertain whether Theodoric and Henry ever crossed paths or had any personal connection. After his initial stint in Paris, Theodoric returned to Germany before making his way back to the bustling city. It was during this time that he commenced his lectures on sentences in 1281. The exact duration of his stay in Paris remains unclear, but historical records indicate that he was appointed as the prior of the Dominican convent in Würzburg around 1293. Additionally, he assumed the role of provincial of Teutonia in the same year. Theodoric's scholarly endeavors continued to flourish, and he was bestowed with the prestigious title of Master of Theology in Paris around 1296. He joined the ranks of renowned German philosophers, such as Albertus Magnus, who had previously earned this esteemed distinction. Theodoric's intellectual pursuits were not confined to Paris alone, he actively participated in the general chapters of the Dominican order held in Toulouse and Piacenza. In 1310, Theodoric was appointed as the Vicar Provincial of Germany, further solidifying his influence and leadership within the Dominican order. However, the historical record becomes silent regarding his activities after this appointment, leaving a void in our knowledge of his later years. The career and early works of Theodoric of Freiburg's philosophy offer valuable insights that can be applied to our daily lives. His dedication to seeking knowledge and engaging in intellectual discourse serves as an inspiration to pursue lifelong learning. Theodoric's encounters with various scholars highlight the importance of collaboration and exchange of ideas in intellectual growth. Furthermore, Theodoric's journey from teaching in Freiburg to studying in Paris demonstrates the significance of exploration and stepping out of our comfort zones. By embracing new experiences, we open ourselves up to diverse perspectives and opportunities for personal and intellectual development. Theodoric's philosophy invites us to reflect on the value of lifelong learning, intellectual curiosity, and the power of intellectual connections. As we navigate the complexities of our modern world, his teachings remind us to remain open-minded, constantly question, and engage in critical thinking to better understand ourselves and the world around us. Theodoric, a brilliant thinker and philosopher from the 14th century, made significant contributions to the field of optics. While his contemporaries struggled to explain the phenomenon of the rainbow, Theodoric was able to provide one of the first accurate geometrical analyses of this natural wonder. His work on the rainbow is considered to be one of the most dramatic developments in the field of optics during the 14th and 15th centuries. Drawing from his previous works on light and color, Theodoric wrote a seminal piece called De I Read Et Radialibus Impressionibus. In this work, he relied on methods like geometry, experimentation, falsification, and more to explain various properties of light. He delved deep into the intricacies of the rainbow, shedding light on its formation and characteristics. 
To understand the behavior of light interacting with water droplets during rainfall, Theodoric conducted experiments using spherical flasks and glass globes filled with water. These early experiments laid the foundation for the development of experimental instrumentation, which would later be used for making measurements and extending human senses. Theodoric correctly asserted that the colors in a rainbow are formed by the interaction of sunlight with water droplets. In recent times, scientists have discovered evidence of the experimental instruments used by Theodoric. These instruments, currently on loan to universities in Providence, Rhode Island, simulate a droplet of water reflecting and refracting sunlight, thus creating a rainbow. Theodoric's groundbreaking experiments with transparent and opaque bodies, studying refraction and reflection, were chronicled in his work, Kitab Tanki al Manazir. It is worth noting that Theodoric, along with other scholars, relied on the insights of Ibn al Haytham, also known as al Hazan, as presented in his book, Book of Optics. Theodoric's profound understanding of the physics behind the rainbow not only advanced the field of optics but also holds relevance in our daily lives. It reminds us of the power of experimentation, observation, and scientific inquiry. His work serves as a reminder that through careful study and analysis, we can unravel the mysteries of the natural world and gain a deeper appreciation for its wonders. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.